If you're a manager who truly cares about your people, does that mean that you have to act like a therapist when they drop a heavy issue on you in a one-on-one -on -one conversation? Something like maybe they're having marital, marital problems or um, they're suffering or struggling with mental health or maybe they have a substance abuse problem or any number of other things. Short answer, no. You should never act as their therapist. That is not your role. Only trained, licensed therapists should be practicing therapy on patients. Now, that doesn't mean you're off the hook. As their manager, you do have a role to play in supporting and caring for them so that they feel like they can do their best at work. Now, this is a question that came up recently in a group coaching session I was doing for leaders. It's coming up more and more all the time because we know today that it's critically important as managers to support the well-being of our employees because we know that when well-being is diminished, our ability to show up and perform is diminished. And so we have to be involved in supporting employee well-being at a different level than we have in the past. And one of the ways that I encourage people to do this all the time is you have to be checking in and checking in with employees in a way that probably invites them to reveal things to you that maybe aren't always that comfortable to hear. In fact, one of my favorite check-ins is the 3H check-in. Now, I'm not going to go through all the mechanics of a check-in because that video already exists. You can go watch that. I did that uh, in the past. But the 3H check-in is basically using my check-in framework, but you ask about how's your head, how's your heart, how's your health? One to 10 scale on each. And then you ask the follow-up questions to see what's going on. Now, when you ask about people's head, heart, and health, you're going to hear about some things. And while maybe in the past, pre the experience we had with this global pandemic thing, we would not ask that question. We'd like to just pretend that employees don't, that they don't have any issues, right? If we don't know about it, it doesn't affect us, but we know that is a dream now. And it can turn into a bad dream if we aren't aware of what's going on with our employees outside of work. And that's, that's what makes well-being so complicated. Right? So many of the things that impact and affect well-being are not things that we have visibility into. It's not things that happen right in the middle of the working day. So as a manager or leader, it can be difficult to know what's really going on unless we're asking great questions and engaging in great conversations with our people. So what do we do if we ask one of those great questions and our employees trust us enough to share with us something that's going on that is disrupting or, you know, having a negative impact on their well-being. Like a marriage that's struggling or a health issue or a mental health issue or you name it, any other number of things. Well, let's start first with what you should not do. We've already established you should not try to be their therapist. And number two, you don't need to try to fix it. Fixing well-being issues, not your job. Your job is to care and be supportive. Oftentimes, the well-being challenges they're suffering are not things you could fix even if you wanted to, even if you had the skills to do it. And so what we need to do instead is help the employee find the resources and the space and the support they need to do the work themselves to become more well. That's how well-being works. So that's what you shouldn't do. What should you do? And most simply put, you should treat the employee the way that you would treat any close friend in your life who just shared something similar with you. So what would you do if a close friend shared with you that they're struggling with depression or they're worried about their marriage, what would you do? My guess is, again, hopefully you wouldn't try to be their therapist. You wouldn't try to jump in and fix it. My hope is your first instinct is show compassion. Show compassion. 
And compassion is a pretty straightforward thing. It really only requires that, number one, you recognize that the person in front of you is suffering. It, that, this, that they're suffering, they're struggling, right? They're hurting. They need help. You recognize they're struggling. You feel moved by that struggling. You care enough to want them to not be suffering anymore. And then you move to a readiness to take action, to do something about it. That's what compassion is. And so you show compassion. Compassion moves you from, I see that you're suffering to, I want to help. So that's step one. Step two, provide or offer support. And often as a manager or a leader, when you're in these conversations with employees, that can be as simple as just asking, what do you need? How can I help? What does support look like for you right now? What would be helpful? These are all questions that invite the employee to talk to you about the things that would help them find their way to being more well, to being more healthy. Maybe that's, they just need you to be aware of it so that you can cut them some slack, right? So that you can help support them in situations where maybe they are struggling at work. Maybe they need you to create some greater flexibility for them. Maybe they need you to lighten the load for them for a period of time. Maybe they need recommendations of what resources or support are available to them through work. And if you don't know what that is, you know where to find people that do, so you can take that action. So you need to provide support, offer support. That's step two. And then step three is follow up. Follow up. If you promise to go find them some resources and offer it to them, Make sure that you do that. Make sure that you then check back in with them in a couple days or a week or whatever feels appropriate to ask how things are coming. Is there anything changing that I should know about? Anything that you need that I could provide? Or um, you know, has what support looks like changed for you over the last week or two? But follow up. So simple three steps. Treat them the way you would treat any close friend. Show compassion offer support, follow up. So good news is you don't ever have to be their therapist. Instead, you just treat them like a close friend and follow, follow those three steps I just outlined. So you can do this. Don't have to be afraid of what employees are going to share with you when you ask them. So ask the good well-being check-in questions, be unafraid of what they will say because you know now how to respond. So go have some great conversations and until next time, take good care of yourself.